it's me just doing the usual check um let's see let me see is anybody there um, bum, bum, bum. is it going to tell me that i have gone live had to scroll through yes yes we're on hurrah right I shall wait for people to join. Put my crib sheet to one side. Put my other crib sheet there. Jane is here. Hello, Jane. Just going to take a sip of my drink. I'm going to turn the volume down on my phone. So I have from T2T, which I love T2Ts, um, a blend that they call La Fudge. Um, and it actually is quite fudgy. It's quite nice. Hello, Renee. Hello, Nora. Right, I need to get my comments coming up on my laptop as well. Because for some reason they're not. That's better. <sighs> I've almost done some planning today. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Audrey. So who is drinking what this morning? Some of you, it's this afternoon and some of you, it's going to be very, very early morning. Hello, Jan from Sunny. Yes, it's sunny here in Cornwall. I'm not in Cornwall, obviously. Uh, Jan, on the other hand, is in Cornwall at the moment because she has a a place down there so I'm just hoping that I've got the comments coming up on my screen as well as my phone so we've had a really weird week um, we've had torrential rain and now it's sunny so very odd very very odd very 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 odd so I'll give it another couple of minutes coffee and it's 9 p.m. Oh, you see, I couldn't, I couldn't do coffee at 9 p.m. Good morning, Kate. Kate is my niece, who is amazing. Um, she has an Instagram account called Ultra Sophisticate. So it's like Sophisticate, Sophisticate, but with a K instead of a C. Morning, Wendy. But yes, I highly recommend you go and check her out on Instagram. Because she is amazing. She's doing some fantastic work for Know Your Lemons for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, so, yeah. Vanilla latte. Very nice, Jan. Very nice. I have to say my tea is a little bit cool. Um, but it's jolly nice. Why are my comments not scrolling on my screen? Never mind. Hello, Susie. Hello, Elizabeth Knox from Melbourne. Good evening to you. Uh, I think you still need to contact me to let me know what tutorial you want. Or have I lost my marbles completely? I think. I don't think I have lost my marbles, I mean. Although, having said that, I'm in a, one of the design teams that I'm in the glam squad where we do uh, tutorials that you can either buy or get free if you place an order of at least 45 pounds each month which reminds me i must send out the new ones from last month um and the information on our facebook page is not the same as the information that was on the running order um so i queried it last night because i need to start doing the work for that and um cat pigeons among reorganize into a well-known phrase or saying um oh i just realized you've got a screw let's see if i move that way a bit you lose the screw that's better so uh, morning candy right i'm going to start with the usual housekeeping rules so this is a Facebook Live, which I'm recording on Tuesday, the 6th of October. If you can see a live in the... Oh, isn't that interesting? 
I can't help. Oh, yes, I can. I can now. Uh, if you see a live in a uh, red live in the top right hand corner of your screen, then you're watching live. I say this with some hesitation because on my phone it comes and goes. Isn't that weird? Anyway, um, if you're watching on Tuesday, the 6th of October at 11 a.m. UK time, it's live. If you're watching later than that or a day after that, um, oh, I have sent you something good, Elizabeth. Um, sorry. Yes. So if you're watching on Facebook and it's not the 6th of October or 11 o'clock in the morning UK time, it's a replay. And if you're watching this on YouTube, it's a replay. Uh, just so you know, so I can comment on comment. No, I can react to comments that are left during the live, but not in the same way if you're watching the replay. Just bear that in mind. I do still get some people commenting as if I am live. So ooh, I've just realised I've got sticky out hair at the back. Um, so, yes, I do need to do that every time. Uh, if you share the video either on YouTube or on Facebook, uh, then you will get entered into a draw for a prize. Um, I am going to close that. I normally give you two weeks to doing my head in, trying to do it first thing on Tuesday morning. So I'm going to give you until the Sunday before the two weeks. So this will be uh, the 18th of September will be the deadline. And then I'll draw the winner on the Monday and load up, etc, etc. Thank you for sharing, Marilyn. Sue is live from Tasmania. Um, so just a couple of quick things. Um, for those of you who are demonstrators, and I know there are a few of you. Hello, Margaret. Um, we are in a new stamping up year, so we are on a clean sheet of paper, which is always a bit scary. Uh, so now's the time to be looking at goal setting. Uh, for those of you who are not demonstrators, um, thank you, Elizabeth, for sharing. Um, and even if you are, we've got the DSP sale on at the moment. Um, it's for the whole of October. So we've got items from both the annual and the uh, mini catalogue. So in no particular order, if any of these are ones that you want, now is the moment to get them. So we've got Artistry Blooms, which is gorgeous. Tis the season. Uh, which I'm using a piece from today. Forever Greenery, Poinsettia Place, which I love. Trimming the Town, which I'm doing using for my um, class in a box this month. Due to post that information on that, hopefully the back end of this week. Hello, Karen from Newcastle in New South Wales. And shared. So yes, Trimming the Town. Uh, plaid tidings, which I, ha I used for my um, have a hoot box and will be using today. Twelve tidings, peony garden, which is gorgeous. And if anyone's got weddings coming up, I urge you to get that for your wedding album. Uh, Whale of a time, heartwarming hugs, magic in this night, my favourite ever Halloween designer series paper. And it's not just for Halloween. Snowflake splendour, in good taste, using that today. Playing with Patterns, which was my last class in a box, and the Playful Pets designer series paper. So lots to choose from. We've got nine, uh, 15 to choose from, and it's 15. So it's 15, 15% off. So do have a look at that. If you are a customer of mine and you bought in September, I will be enclosing a flyer in your thank you box, which should be going out later this week. I got the delivery of your prizes yesterday so I should be getting that out to you this week all things being equal I have my team retreat this week as well and I want to do my dis my class in a box so it's a, a fairly busy week um, so today I am going to be using nothing from the mini catalogue I'm going to be using the game on um, stamp set this is brilliant for masculine cards, but let's face it, it's not only men that play cards, chess and dice. So, um, yeah, that's what we're using today. I'll just have a last swig of my tea and then we'll get started. 
Oh, and I must remember to tell you what the spot challenge is this week because that goes live at 12 o'clock. So in 50 minutes, just checking. So it's that time. I'm going to cover you up and um, clip you down so that you don't get too dizzy. All right, let me just adjust this so that we're square-ish. Uh, this is the leg of a tripod. This is the leg of a tripod. So this is my new setup. Um, and you get to see my tummy as well. Uh, so yes, my new setup with, um, with better lighting, I'm hoping. So I'm just going to blow my nose, otherwise I'm going to end up sneezing, and then we will get started. But I will leave that for you to look at while I'm doing that. Right, OK. So I have done some prep for this, which is in itself a little scary. Um, but yes, game on. It's red rubber. Um, I have got some stamps already mounted up. Uh, and as I say, don't just hazelnut coffee. Oh, Audrey. Um, sorry, I've just spotted that. Oh, uh, good morning, Marilyn. Gosh, you're up early, Marilyn. Um, so, yes, I don't think this is just for men, but it is very good for men. Um, the, the projects that I'm doing are, I think, good for either. So, yeah. OK. Um, which one shall I do first? Let's do that one first, as things seem to be near the front. So I have got a piece of basic black scored down the middle. These are all landscape cards, as it happens. So you're drinking hazelnut coffee and you're in your crafty space, Audrey. I think that sounds like perfection. Um, so basic black, half sheet scored down the middle. Uh, I won't give measurements because obviously I'm using International A4 and some of you are watching from parts of the world which don't. Uh, but the measurements will be on my blog post, which I'm hoping will go live tomorrow, which will be the one for this. Um, real red card and a piece of the plaid tidings, just a tiny little bit smaller. I've got a stitched oval, um, which is where I am going to stamp my chess pieces and I'm going to stamp those in memento because I will be colouring some of them. Now I'm going to make a confession here and now. Um, I have forgotten to change my chamois. I did say I would change my chamois when we entered the new stamping up here and I haven't yet. I have my new chamois ready to go, just haven't changed it yet. So I still have my really icky chamois. Although having said that, I need this in basic black again soon, so I won't be doing anything with it anyway. So there we go. I didn't ink it up perfectly, but there we go. Right, I'm going to leave that to dry while I make up this piece. I'm going to be using some of the red linen, what do we call this, braided linen trim, which is in real red which is why I've got real red card. Um, so let me add here my paper using seal. Fortunately, my um, delivery yesterday not only included the gifts for my September shoppers, it also included some spare shield, uh, seal because I've run out otherwise. I'm on my last refill, so if we run out today, I could have been, that's not square. Um, if I had run out today, I would have been in Stuck. So seal you can, if you haven't pressed it down hard, peel off. The moment you press it down hard, you, um, you are in Stuck. Ooh, Candy's just got this, excellent. So let's try putting this down square this time. That's better. It's not perfect. I think this piece of card's not square. Hmm. Excuse me one moment. Can't be doing with not square card. 
No, it's not. That'll be why I can't get it square. That's better. It's great, isn't it? Um, I do cut some of my card with my industrial chopper um, and it had been playing up so I just had to change the um, the cutting mat that goes underneath it um, so I think that might have been part of the reason right oh uh, hello Kay I think you're a new joiner aren't you have you joined us before five o'clock in the morning in Kansas no wonder you've got your coffee Frankly, frankly, uh, I think I want to tie this possibly just in a knot. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to chop this. No, I'm not. I'm going to tie it first. I don't normally do tying round a piece of card, but I think today I will give it a go because I'm only going to be tying a knot and not. I'm only going to be tying a knot and not a um, bow. I would never attempt to tie a bow around a piece of card. I would always pop, I would always glue the ribbon and then do the bow separately because I'm just not that clever. Make that at a bit more of an angle and then I'm going to frou frou the edges, I think. Through through the edges, I mean this. So, so I have been trying with my new setup. And part of the reason I did my new setup was so that I could have two cameras. And I did try that after last week's um, Facebook Live. I tried doing the whole new setup. Um, I have a test Facebook site. Uh, and for some reason it's failed, so I need to get onto that. Um, it doesn't, it's got a CPU problem, whatever that is. Uh, so, um, yeah, that was fun. But at least I did it in a test site and not um, in anger. So, just attach this and then I will do my colouring of my chess pieces so pop that down oops crooked it's going to be one of those days i can tell this does not oh for crying out loud this does not bode well for today being my planning day if i can't even pop a piece of card down straight i might as well give up and go home now um I am home, so I can't give up and go home. I can just give up. Right, burnish. So there is our card front. Right, so I've used real red, so I'm going to pull out my real red blends, and I'm going to colour. Hmm, I'm going to colour three. I just can't decide which three. I might do one, two, three. I think. So I'm going to start with my light, real red. I can't zoom in, I'm sorry, but I can't. I will show you what I'm doing as I go. Um, and I will hold up the coloured piece when I have sort of done a bit. So I'm starting with the light because laying down some light means that you get a better blend. Um, depending on whether you put your light down first or your dark down first depends on the type of blend you get so it's not vital hello debbie segovia I haven't seen you for ages in fact for too long so debbie is a very old very dear friend of mine i say very old as in long standing i do not mean old um long standing friend of mine we met through scrapbooking um, and gosh, that would have been, I don't know, it's at least 10 years ago, I want to say. Um, but yes, we had a scrapbooking group uh, in Walton, down in near London. Um, 
and we would meet once a month to scrapbook together which was great fun so this is already shaded as in the stamp comes with uh, dots to show you where you need to shade so this is so simple um so something really odd has popped up on my oh share my live in groups yeah well pff. um or not um so yes this this makes coloring really easy because you just color where the dots are and it will automatically work which is never a bad thing don't you love that facebook put a tip up while you're on your facebook live i mean come on <sighs> so just to give it a slightly better blend i'm now coming back in with my light real red to blend that in ah oh, so the sun's gone in well there's a surprise so let me just show you that I have to kind of get it so that if I fill both if I fill the screen it should self focus doesn't seem to be anyway um, as I say the stamp does a lot of the work for you so it is one of those you know almost foolproof I say almost because hey I can go wrong just as well as anybody else so um, you may have noticed those of you who follow me on YouTube that as I said I am changing my YouTube schedule a wee bit I'm not doing quite as many videos um, I'm running out of hours in the day at the moment I seem to be working about seven days a week 12 hours every day um, which is not a good work-life balance so I will be doing obviously I'll be posting this on YouTube because not all of my followers are on Facebook um, but I will also do my my thought process is two other videos a week one of which will be simple stamping Saturday um, because that's always a popular post um, so I'm probably going to do Monday do a replay of this on Wednesday and then do Saturday um, I hope that doesn't ooh, upset too many people but um, as I say I'm I need to get a little bit of a work-life balance um, things have been going really well so um, as in you know from a work point of view business wise um, which is fantastic but it does mean I therefore need to spend more time doing the admin which is not ideal in the admin is something you need to do not necessarily something one wants to do um, but yeah so I hope that is not causing too many people too much angst gosh you're all being quiet I know this is a bit like watching paint dry but anyway so yes let me know whether you kind of understand why I'm cutting back um, I'm still posting regularly um, so my my posting on my blog will be the same it's purely which ones I'll be doing videos for uh, already I'm finding I've got a bit of extra time in my diary to do the admin that I need to do I mean it's even things like making the thank you cards that I send out to customers um, I have a thing where I know hmm, I believe I don't know I believe that quite a few demonstrators get other people to make their thank you cards for them um, sorry not me I say sorry I'm not sorry um, I think that I should make your thank you cards and your thank you gifts because I'm the one that's thanking you so yeah right okay so dimensionals hello Bridget right okay so as you join do let everyone know where you're joining from and if you have your morning evening very early morning lunchtime beverage what you are beveraging on so I'm just popping four dimensionals on probably 
probably shouldn't put them exactly where I have because I'm now going to run into problems with my ribbon. I'm going to go up from my ribbon. That will resolve that problem. There we go. So that's that. Then I need a little strip of card um, because hopefully that will be wide enough for yes it will okay now i think i might bear with me grab oh can you all hear me properly that would be quite nice to know because i have had people complain they can't hear me so this is real red ink i'm being really you know color coordinating um in that all of stamping up's colors coordinate as in if i'm using real red thank you nora if i'm using real red for one thing um, if i use it for something else as well it will be the same real red so i've got real red ink real red blend real red ribbon real red card um, and they should all match so uh, am i going to be brave and use snips i think i am we go so i'm going to pop that down in the corner there and trim it off a wee bit more and now it's crooked couldn't make it up that's better so i need more dimensional and i think if i use those edge pieces that should be about right gosh you're being so shy hello Jeanette thank you for joining remember you can always watch back either on YouTube or on Facebook so there we go so that's the first card so we've got white pieces and red pieces because that's kind of what you end up with some pieces some chess pieces have black and white um, my parents had a very old set that I think was black and red actually but anyway so there we go that's that one so one down and a couple to go right which one's next in line okay so this is the one that uses the trimming trimming tidings no it is the season even thank you nora glad you like it right so the first thing i'm going to do with this one is attach my dsp to my card because this is going to cover the whole of the front um, so I need my seal and I need to make sure that I get right into the corners because if nowhere else that is where I need there to be adhesive because that's what may catch if there isn't so always good to make sure that you've got adhesive right into your corner then I can come back and add a bit more adhesive everywhere else like that okay so I think I'll go that way now I like to line up with my crease and then trim so I do my crease and a side like that and then press from the back and we've got mistletoes on the back but who would know that this is Christmas paper if you didn't know it was Christmas paper so I think this is one of those really great papers that is good for good for all seasons a bit like the Halloween suite or the Halloween DSP brilliant for all seasons great for Halloween but not just for Halloween uh, the two black florals are amazing. Hello, Farquhar Splodge. How is Ken this morning? Hello. 
have your earphones on because I can't see your laptop from your table. OK, I've got you perched at the side. I have to turn to watch what you're doing. I need to change my setup too. Absolutely. I now have my, I mean, my laptop lives where my laptop has always lived. But for um, Facebook, I pop it there. But my admin is done over by the door into the garage um, because I like to keep my admin and my creativity separate. Um, it's always been a thing for me to keep the two things separate, particularly when I was working for the man as well. Um, I needed the two things to, to not overlap. Now, I've already uh, fussy cut one set of um, cards, so I'm just going to fussy cut another set. And this time I'm going to do them in black. And I know they're still hearts, but, you know, we can pretend. So let's just pull that in place. And that's that done. Really easy fussy cutting. We've basically got straight edges which is always a good place to be. So it's just rough trim. Get rid of those bits. So yes, we've definitely got gone overcast now. I think we might get rain later. Um, anywho. So round the corners. Ooh, I think I just heard rain on my windows. It's one of those, at the moment, it's kind of grey cloud, white cloud, blue sky. Uh, but the grey cloud is very grey. So, yeah. I did manage to go running yesterday. I'm not surprised you're still sleepy at 5.30 in the morning, Candy. Ooh, well, ah... Hmm, I could. What a great idea. I might have to do that. I shall do that. Well done, Audrey. Audrey has just suggested changing these into clubs. Now, I think a purist might have an issue that the faces on the cards are wrong, but I think we might do that. What a brilliant suggestion. And I have my black marker to hand. Oh, for those of you in Europe, so we had a we get a weekly update every week um, on a Tuesday morning. And we are very close, not there yet, but we're very close to, I kid you not, having re in all colours in Europe. I know, it's just unbelievable. So let's make these spades. There we go. Brilliant idea. Thank you very much for that suggestion. So we've now got spades. They're not, I've not gone mad with the marker, but they are now spades. Brilliant. Thank you, Audrey. Okay, so we're just going to have those two there. Absolutely. Woohoo. Um, and I think we will go with, let me see if I've got another scrap. Bear with me. Let's use that and we'll do. Uh, lucky me because I have you as our sentiment and I will go black. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, couldn't make it up, could you? Finger in the black. Right. Lucky me because I have you. Lucky me because I have you, Audrey. Well done. Thank you for that brilliant suggestion. Right. Okay. Let me see if I can cut that 
at a sensible measurement because I've got a thought. Oh, it's worrying, isn't it? I've got a thought. Yep. Okay. So if I do that and that, I can then bring in my banners pick a punch. So this is from the mini catalogue. And with shorter pieces, I do like to just turn over the punch just to make sure that we are somewhere in the semblance of square. As in even from right to left. Now, if you don't have the banners punch, you can just do a, a quick banner. Um, so if you don't have the punch, what I would do is find the centre, snip, snip, and snip. But of course, by having the banner uh, punch, you can do layers. Ooh! Ooh! Don't you love that I've got things so well planned? Uh, I don't think that's an inch. Nope. So that's ooh, that. That's the better piece, I think. Yep. Right. Okay. Let me chop an inch off this. So there we go. One inch. Bring back in my punch, slip this in, and again just check that we are square, which we're not. That's better. And then we get a nice layer, Consa. That will go a little bit further on, and then I'm going to trim that off against the side of the um, card. So a little bit of um, green glue, and actually we'll go this way round. So I'm going to ask that inevitable question, who has already made all of their Christmas cards? Because, you know, it's October now. Has anyone started to make their Christmas cards? Because it's not that long till Christmas. I oh, know, it's frightening. That's not quite square. That's better. Right, OK, so let's make this. I'm going to have that there, that there. So this I'm going to just add a bit of... Tombow. And pop that there. You've started, Rose. Okay. I mean, I've started in that I've done videos, but I'm not counting those as my Christmas cards. Um, I deliberately make my personal Christmas cards separate from my, in inverted commas, work ones. Isn't this, aren't the sentiments just, I love this. Lucky me because I have you. It's, uh, you're absolutely right, Candy. Uh, Rene has started. As I say, I haven't really, I haven't even decided which set I'm going to use for my Christmas cards. Yeah, I keep thinking I should as well. I need to make, hmm, oh, I don't know, somewhere around 200. 
Um, we have about 80 that we send to friends and family. And then I also like to send them, to, and by friends and family, I mean family, friends and family. Um, and um, then I also like to send them to my Stamping Up friends, obviously. Um, and somewhere I've got white dimensionals. Hmm, where did I put my white dimensionals? Ah, I put my stamp over the top is where I put my white dimensionals. Uh, I have found that putting black dimensionals behind white is not a particularly clever idea. Can't think why. Uh, yeah, I think my Stamparatus is going to come into play, Jackie, uh, because I need to start. But as I say, I haven't decided which set to use yet. What I normally do is one set for family, friends and family, uh, and one set for... Um, and one set for everybody else. So, as I say, stamping up friends and those sorts of things. Nora is redoing her craft room. That's exciting. So there we go. That Oh, I need to trim that off. That is our second card. Where are we time-wise? Coming up to a quarter to 12. So there we go. Obviously, I need to put linings in, but as I always say, I put the lining in at the point where I've written it so I don't spoil the card by getting my writing wrong. Writing wrong. Does that work? I think it does. That I might put some extra on there. Bear with me one moment. Um, I'm thinking rhinestones. Oh, do I want? No, let's do ordinary rhinestones. I just think it needs a little something. It's a bit flat for me. Gosh, these are old packet of rhinestones. I've even got a packet that's still got the um, the line of rhinestones. Ooh, and apparently I'm going to drop some of my rhinestones on my work surface. Okay. So we will have one there, I think. One there, and the smaller one will come up there. There we are. That makes me a bit happier. It looked a little plain. So let me just show you closer up. So there we are with a little bit of bling. So that's that one. So, gosh, we are rushing through them. For me, we're rushing, rushing through them anyway. Okay, so this one is Knight of Navy. Um, I've cut a rectangle from the ornate, ooh, which ornate, I want to say borders. Oh, I really must learn to put my dies back in an order. No, can't find them. I'm sure it was the ornate borders. I found them. Sure it was the ornate borders. You're hanging on to fall tenaciously. I'm not surprised. I love. No, it's not the borders. Therefore, it must be the frames. That makes more sense, doesn't it? The ornate frames. We've still got one, two, three, one, two, th yeah, three birthdays. No, not that one. It's the other. It's the other one. Anyway, it's the one that goes with the ornate garden suite. Is it ornate layers? You couldn't make it up. I've kept it out. Good grief. So it's the ornate layers dies. So it's this set and it's this rectangle here, uh, which is quite a nice, just long, thin stitched rectangle. Um, so worth remembering that that is in there. Right. Okay. So I've got that. I've got a piece of gray granite and a piece of the world of good. 
what one of my friends calls the flooring paper using one of the floorings um, and we're going that way there is also the um, it's like um, acrylic paint sorry you're late you got caught up with things you got yourself a bamboo cutting board yay you mean heat setting board one of these my work is done right okay so i'm going to make up the base and then we will put the um the cards together with my stamping this is quite a quick card now obviously you don't need to have the rectangle you could just the frame you could just cut a rectangle yes i have it on that corner thank you for sharing wendy i watched your bird ballad youtube video this morning which was fun right so that's going to go on there thank you for sharing rose this is going to go there and i need this Now, I was going to go black. I'm wondering if I'm going to go navy. I might go navy. Let's go navy. And the other thing I want is a little strip. Which we have. Right. Okay. Bling. Right, this will just fit, and I mean just. Just fit. A will just fit, and B will just fit three. Need that out still. I need that so this is what we've got so far what I should have done is do the two sides and then the middle rookie error but I didn't so there we go um, then I've got some strips of whisper white and I've got the it's your day roll with it which kind of seems appropriate for this where have i got ink okay sorry had to pause and take breath there absolutely wendy whatever you do they have to be fun and preferably straight we'll try that one straight so is that it is straight on the stamp that's better right okay so dimensionals Dimensionals, and actually, let's stick that down. Please do not overuse your glue. You do not need lots of glue. It's good glue. Please don't use, use masses of it. The splodge monster has left you. Good. You've got shaded spruce on your fingers, have you, Audrey? I'm assuming you've been using shaded spruce recently. I've got colouring on my grid paper, which I will change my grid paper, but now 
do I want it central? Probably. I'm going to go central by eye. Okay. Hello, Jan, you've just got in, which tends to suggest that you are, where are you from? Are you in the UK or overseas? Right, let me grab a post-it note. Oh, I love Knight of Navy. Absolutely love it. Uh, right, I think I've showed you shown you this trick before, but just in case. So I want to cut this down a bit. So there is no way on God's earth I'm going to get that straight by hand. So I can add it to a post-it note, which has a straight edge. Um, that is all I would say, Wendy, if you want to use the bottom of your glue pot, hold, store it upside down. Um, eventually, you'll have to just give up. Um, of course, the downside of using a post-it note is you've got sticky on, the, on one side. Uh, South Coast. Oh, you've been exercising in the park. OK. Uh, yeah, I went out for my run yesterday. I was meant to go out for a run over the weekend. Um, where was yesterday? Monday. Yeah, I was meant to go out over the weekend, but we live on what is literally a muddy path, uh, and it's particularly a muddy path at the moment. Um, so we're on what's known as a boat, so it's a byway open to all traffic. Um, and unfortunately, people do drive down it, even though it is full of potholes. Um, however, it was full of river um, over the weekend, as in just one puddle after another and they joined up so i really wasn't going to go running through the puddles uh, i do wear waterproof socks when it's wet but you know there are limits um so i um postponed my run and did it yesterday before the rain came So I'm going right down into the bottom corner. Uh, it stayed dry. F oh, what you mean for Jan? I hope it was dry for Jan as well. Right. So that's this one. I'm not going to bling this at all. I don't think it needs it. But that's this one. And we've got one more. Um, if I can find it. Oh, it's right in front of me. Right. OK, so. Oh, yes, that's what I was doing. I couldn't remember what I was doing. Um, so I've got basic grey, basic black. And again, it's a landscape card because I'm in a landscape card mood for some reason. Um, so we have got a piece of Whisper White, which I'm going to cover in stamping because there is one stamp we still haven't used. Um, Trying to work out which block to use. Oh, I could probably fit it on there. Yes. So I'm going to use basic grey for this. And randomly stamp. Uh, if you are making a background, please go off the edge because it didn't half look odd if everything's well within the lines. Um, it just you, basically if you're if you're stamping a background, you want it to have the same sort of look as designer series paper. Um, so designer series paper goes off the edge. Um, so we need to make sure that our stamping goes off the edge as well in my humble opinion right so that's our background oh no i might just i might just nip in there 
because if there's a long length piece that kind of I don't know annoys me um I don't know why I've closed that because actually I want it in basic grey again I think thank you Karen glad you're liking the cards where does the stamp come from this is from the game on stamp set so I'm literally using every stamp from the game on stamp set this was this was the last one I needed to use um, this is a scrap in that I've run out of actual scraps so so it's in the annual catalogue I'll pull it in in a minute oh it stamps really nicely in basic grey really nicely so the stamp set is this one to so say it's in the annual catalogue I had you've made a holder for it Audrey that's a good idea um, I have a holder for mine as well um, although it takes six but hey uh, it was you know back in the days when we could do face-to-face -face stuff and I used to do face-to-face -face stuff I haven't for a long time but um, yeah so I am just going to fussy cut this This is not that difficult to fussy cut. Ooh, and I just had a thought. I just had another thought, which I will deal with in a moment. It's always worrying when I have a thought. Well, that's what I thought, Wendy, that these are very good for masculine cards. I, I have seen some amazing projects with these. These are actually cases of projects I've seen on Pinterest um, they're not that much of a case they so I, I looked at what people have done with game on um, and these are a sort of combination of quite a few other cards that I've seen so I wouldn't say I'm casing any one card in particular I just got some ideas of how people could use them um, and I do like that it's actually quite an easy set to use because the shading is all done for you. Um, so if you do want a colour, so when I, I'll sh show those of you who missed it earlier, uh, I'll show you the other one I did with the chess set uh, where I did use blends. Glass shot, a shot glass would be perfect, Candy. Um, my husband knows that I am on a call. Or on a Facebook so he will take that phone either that or the answer phone will take that phone one or the other but yes storing it upside down I always store my glue upside down apart from when I'm actually using it which is when I have it on its side um, so if I know I'm using it a lot but I quite often have, if I've got one that's kind of running low, um, I'll have another one out. Yep, that works. I'll have another one out while, so I'll store the one that's running low like that and then have one out to use uh, while I'm doing other things. Um, right, I'm just grabbing the Light Smoky Slate Blend. And I've done this before, but... Actually, I think I might use the other end. Um, I find that when you're doing a, um, a die cut, not a die cut, a fussy cut, um, sometimes it looks a bit odd having the white edges, even if you're putting it on white. This also works if you are trying to um, highlight an image that is in the middle of a piece of white card. But if you go around the edge, with either the smoky slate or the grey granite or the crumb cake actually depending on what colour your card is um, so if you've got a basically black and white but uh, with warm colours I would use um, grey granite and if you're doing basically black and white but cold colours I would use smoky slate which is why I've used smoky slate here And you can go round the outside of your image 
and it makes it pop a bit more. And what I will also do is go round the uh, bits that I haven't fussy cut. And then I will show you what I've done. So having done that, in fact, let me show you that in some vague hope that the camera will focus. So you can almost not see that it's been done. And then I'm just going to go around the edge of the images. And what this will help do is disguise the fact that you haven't fussy cut the middle. Um, you know, there are limits. Just remember that your um, alcohol ink will blend. Um, I guess you could do it with a stamp and write marker, but you'd have to be very, very careful. So I don't know if you can see that particularly well. Trouble is I've got the focus on here. Anyway, so let me just grab some dimensionals and then we will be done for the morning. There, I think we need a small one for that, only because I've got a small one. Oh, it's actually not too badly out of focus. So I get to see what things look like. As, as for you, there's a time lag, so I get to see what they look like on my phone. On my phone, that didn't look too out of focus. So I think I can get a small one in there. Yes, perfect. Perfecto mundo. Right, okay, so let's pop all this together. So I just need to burnish that a bit better. And just check, yep. So I need some, hmm, do I want it? No, 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 I was thinking. It's frightening, but I was thinking. Hello, Claire Gibson. Right, that's that. This I don't like using Tombow on the back of Whisper White. Um, I mean, I do sometimes, but as a general rule, particularly when it's a full mat, I would rather use Seal because you can end up with the paper puckering a little bit. Um, because although Tombow is a brilliant glue, it is still wet. So it is going to um, put a little bit of moisture on the, on the back of your Whisper White card. There we go. And then pop this on and then we are done. And we can have a look at the cards. I can talk to you about the spot this week and we can do prizes. So that's just going to go. Actually, I might pop it up to the side there. So there we go. And although this isn't terribly visible, it does give the depth to the pieces that I haven't fussy cut round the inside bits of. So, I mean, that's just a really simple little card, um, not using much in the way of technique or equipment. So that's that one. So let's have a look at what we've made. Um, I'd be happier if I could find all of them. There we go. So in order, we started with this one. So we've colored some of our chess pieces in uh, real red blends. We've got the real red braided linen trim um, and real red ink and real red card. So this really does just show that real red is real red is real red. And this is one of the reasons we all love 
stamping out products because it's just so easy for us. So that's that one. And this is the plaid tidings paper, which is one of the ones in the 15% off sale. So that's that one. Then we did this one. So real red for the stamping, fussy cut, basic black for the stamping, fussy cut, but we added at um, Audrey's brilliant suggestion, we added tails using the black Stampin' Right marker. This you can buy singly. Um, I mean, you could use any black felt tip pen to make these into clubs, spades, even spades. There, actually, I have I have missed one stamp, and it's this one. Whether that would actually fit? No, because you haven't got the little one. So there is a club stamp which I haven't used. It's the whole one. And then this lovely sentiment, lucky me because I have you. So this has popped up, this is popped up, this is flagged with the banners pick a punch punch uh, rhinestones. So that was the second one. This one is a really simple card again. So uses the uh, In Good Taste designer series paper, which is in the, oh yes, and this, sorry, Tis the Season designer series paper in the sale. In Good Taste designer series paper in the sale. Now this is the big pack. This is the one that's £20 in the UK for the full set. So getting 15% off makes really quite a big difference. 20% difference in fact. So it comes down from um, £20 to £17, which is amazing value. Um, then just the this is from the ornate layers dies, but you could just use a piece of rectangular card. The dies stamped in Knight of Navy, the sentiment stamped in Knight of Navy. The paper is on grey granite because this is blends nicely with grey granite. So that's that one. And then the one we've just made, which is really, really straightforward. So the chess pieces and the chess board um, just across the back and then the uh, blend around the outside which just makes a perfect difference I mean it just it looks particularly from a distance it looks like these have all been fussy cut on the inside as well but it's also a great way if you're doing it flat onto a piece of basic white cardstock as in whisper white um, just go around the outside as well or if you're doing it on very vanilla so those are our four cards uh, so let me pop those across the screen so you can see those properly. So all made with the same, <coughs> excuse me, the same stamp set. Very good for masculine cards, but you could use these for feminine cards as well. Just change some of the colourways a bit. Um, just use softer colours. So rather than basic grey, I might use grey granite or uh, crumb cake. I think it just softens it a bit, but certainly don't exclude women and this as who oh, was it candy who said you got this just for the just for the sentiment i think anyway it's it is worth it just for the just for the sentiment right okay so the spot has gone live um now it's an interesting challenge this week one of our design team members sarah levin who is brilliant she's in the states um she is on as i say she's on the design team and this this week we are casing any one of her projects that we want oh jackie i'm so glad you're going to be ordering the stamp set brilliant um so yes we could case any of her projects that we wanted but that was this week's challenge so it's a challenge to go and see what sarah's done and then case and this is the card that i have made from her original the original is on my on my website um, so if you hop over to oldsablescraft.co.uk you'll see the original card that i'm that i cased this from um, and there's an explanation of how i did this i'm really pleased with how it turned out um, it does it definitely has been cased from hers as an as in i can see how it's been cased but um, it's a very different look. So that's the that's the spot this week. Jan, I'm so pleased you like the cards. Um, so it's prize time. The 
prize from two weeks ago was the Check It Out stamp set. Um, this is from last year's annual. It's new inbox. Um, and Claire Steele, who is great at sharing, she shares both on YouTube and on Facebook, so she got two entries. She has won that. Um, so assuming she hasn't moved, I can send that to her, along with everything else that she's getting this month. Um, and then the prize for this week is Real Red, seemed appropriate, uh, and it's the cotton ribbon that was, I think, in last year's annual, but it's, an, it's a new spool, um, and bearing in mind Christmas coming is coming up, it will be perfect for Christmas cards. So thank you all very much indeed for joining me this morning. Do remember, if you haven't already, to share. And if you share on Facebook and on YouTube, you get two entries. Um, and oh, this is a bit of a giveaway of the fact that I used to do insurance. <laughs> um, anyway, not for LV, actually. That was not who I did insurance. Well, they were one of our markets. I was a broker. Anyway, thank you very much indeed for joining me today. Have a fantastic day. Have a very good rest of your week. Please keep safe. Please keep well. Um, Oxfordshire has just been increased to amber because although South Oxfordshire, where I am, is very low risk at the moment, Oxford City has just spiralled out of control. Um, so as a, as a county, we are now rated as medium. Um, so we are having to be even more careful than usual. So please, 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 please take care. Thank you very much indeed. Have a super day evening, afternoon as appropriate and I will see you soon. Obviously I'll take about five attempts to end the video because that's just the way Facebook works. But thank you very much indeed. Let's see how many times today. So that's the first one. <laughs>